What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing one of the strongest Pokemon that follows the regulation E format. We got ourselves a Blood Moon or Salunatine. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. My regulation E content has been doing so well on the channel, so I just want to give a huge shout out to everybody who tunes in and watches these videos. I really do appreciate it. But our first Pokemon that we're going to talk about in today's team preview is going to be Cresselia. Cresselia pairs up perfectly with Blood Moon Ursaluna because Ursaluna is rather slow, so setting up the Trick Room with Cresselia really helps it out. Cresselia's got Levitate alongside with the Safety Goggles, then Rock and Lunar Blessing, Ally Switch, Trick Room, and Psychic. In our second slot is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Ursa Luna over here. Blood Moon Ursa Luna, I should say. With Mind's Eye, which is a brand new ability, and then Leftovers as its item. It's got Calm Mind, it's got Earth Power, Hyper Voice, and Protect. In our third slot, we got the lovely Alolan Ninetales, which is such a good Pokemon in this game, and it is really good at setting weather and granting weather control to your team. It's got Snow Warning with the Focus Dash, and then Blizzard, Moonblast, Howl, and Aurora Bell to set up both a Reflect and Light Screen in the same turn. We got Baxcalibur sitting here in our fourth slot, pairs up well with Ninetales because it is an Ice-type Pokemon. It's got Thermal Exchange alongside with a Loaded Dice, then a great move set up Protect, Scale Shot, Ice Shard, and Icicle Spear. In our fifth slot, we got the brand new and approved Rillaboom with Grassy Surge and Assault Vest, Rock and Grassy Guy, Drum Beating, Fake Out, and YouTube. Final Pokemon is going to be Urshfu, the water and fighting one. Really can't go wrong with this Pokemon, it is still top tier within the meta. It's got Unseen Fist with the Mystic Water as an item, and its four moves consist of Detect, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Surging Strikes. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rent the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder and look to showcase Blood Moon Ursa Luna. Match number one is coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Blood Moon Ursa Luna team. They also have Weather Control with the Ninetales, and then they're rocking out with Shift Tree, Noivern, Gyarados, and Sinistra. One thing that I didn't really get to go over was Blood Moon Ursa Luna's brand new ability, Mind's Eye. The Pokemon ignores changes to the opponent's evasiveness, its accuracy can't be lowered, and it can hit ghost types and fighting types. Or it can hit ghost types with normal and fighting type moves, I should say. So it's really, really cool, really great, especially Hyper Voice is able to hit ghost types, such as Sinisha. I'm a big fan, I'm a big fan. So who do I go into and how do I lead it? I kind of want to just go Ursaluna and Cresselia, right? Would probably be to play. Let me see Ursaluna's speed just to make sure this thing is slow. Yeah, 51. So you know what? I'm going to end up going into him. I am going to end up going into Cresselia. We're going to set that Trick Room and we're going to get cooking from there. We will bring Roboom in the back end and then last but not least, do we go Urshifu or like Baxcalibur? Baxcalibur is not bad. I do like Baxcalibur. Its speed should be pretty decent, but same thing with Urshifu. I think everyone's speed is pretty decent. Nine Tails will be fastest at all of them, but I do have some first turn priority on both of them. But I'm I'm probably gonna bring Baxcalibur. I like Baxcalibur here. You know what? Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But yeah, Baxcalibur is going to be solid here. It's going to be super effective onto the Noivern, onto the Sinistra. We really, really like that. And there was one more Pokemon. Oh, the Blood Moon and Ursa Luna. We got the Ice Move, so it should be super effective onto the Ground type. It can rip up into it. So I'm a big fan. I'm a big fan of Baxcalibur as a back end Pokemon. But what I probably do here is probably just protect Ursa Luna. Or actually, I don't think I have Protect. We could set up a Calm Mind, which could be good. But it definitely worked out good. We get one from there. So from here, they do have Noivern, which is kind of scaring me, right? I do have Protect, but I could just go for a Calm Mind. I could definitely go for a Calm Mind. Because mm, I'm scared of the Heat Wave coming in here. Heat Wave is definitely terrifying, right? Wave's looking a little scary. I would love to set up a Calm Mind here. You know what? They might just set up a Tailwind. They might. You know what? We're going to go Calm Mind, and on top of that, we're going for the Trick Room. We can always heal up Blood Moon Ursa Luna with uh, a Lunar Blessing next turn. Ninetales scare me a little bit too, because, oh, maybe I should have towered. I should have thought a little bit more, because I know a lot of Ninetales rock Solar Beam. And Solar Beam hitting Ursa Luna is a little scary, but maybe they think I'm just protecting Ursa Luna. Because that's how most people would play this Trick Room turn, right? You would just protect and then pop Trick Room. So if they want to make that read and double down into me, I would love that. But we're going to see a Terra type come out from our opponent. What they got cooking? Where are they cooking? Ninetales going into a Dragon type. Dragon Terra? Oh, no, that's weird, but it's kind of cool. That's real weird, but it's kind of cool, right? 
Super Fang is going to come out here. They are going to half HP onto my crest. That's totally fine. And this thing is going to Nancy Pot. I'm cool with that. I'm fine with that. that, that that's, that's cool. That's cool with me. That's cool with me. Combine is going to come out here. I get a free special attack boost and a free special defense boost. And I'm really glad I went with that turn instead of protecting. I think they, they were looking to read the protect. So I get the nice lovely boost on the special defense, special attack side. And I get to set up the Strip Room. So now from here, I'm thinking that you might be sashed, right? I could go Hyper Voice. I could go Earth Power. Hyper Voice would probably be my best bet. But do I want to Terror Type into Ghost? No, not really. I think Stanger type going to be fine. So I'm just going to rip a Hyper Voice. And on top of that, I'm going to double down into the into the into uh, this plus two Ninetales. Just because it might be sashed. Or we can just do so much damage with Hyper Voice. We KO the Ninth or the Noivern. We get a crit on that. So Ninetales might be able to soak up this Psychic, which is kind of scary, right? It definitely is, but we did double down into it to try to pick up the KO. Can we get the KO? We don't. Sad news, and he's going to Baton Pass here. So he's going to pass off his special attack boost onto the Pokemon he's swapping into. But I'm totally cool with that. Ursaluna should be thriving with that. You kind of just wasted a chance to actually take a shot at me. Because I got to trick him up, and I should be thriving with the speeds here. So he's going to Baton Pass into the Ursaluna. That's actually hilarious, because now their Ursaluna is plus two. So if you guys do not know what Baton Pass does, it's a it's a swap out, but keep the stat changes to the Pokemon that you swapped out. So since Nine Tails was plus two, Ursaluna is now plus two. <coughs> so from here, I'll probably just rip another Hyper Voice. Or to be honest, I could just Lunar. Do I Lunar Blessing here? No, yeah. I'm just going to Lunar Blessing and drop a Hyper Voice. I think Ursaluna can do some big time damage. We can get a nice stream of HP, but I am scared of their Ursaluna. We're gonna hope that's not slower than mine. Because in this trick room, we kind of want some speed. We're kind of looking to do some big time damage, and that works out perfectly. Nice big damage onto both of them. And Blood Moon's gonna come out here and just take out my Crest, right? Yeah, Crest is going there. Crest is dead. So I could have actually Terror there, but I kind of want to save it. I like it with my back end Pokemon because Waterfall is gonna come out here. We should be able to soak, which we do. And again, we have speed all day, and none of these Pokemon have first turn priority. I, I like where we're sitting. Hyper Voice will KO the Gyarados. I can then go into Rillaboom here as well. Or actually, I can just go into Bax Caliber. And save the Rillaboom. We'll save the Terra type for Rillaboom with the Fire Terra. We'll definitely need that. We'll definitely need that. But I'll go into Bax Caliber just so I can first turn priority uh, Ursaluna here with Ice Shard. And then I can Hyper Voice and pick up the double KO easily. That works out perfectly. So Combine Boost, lovely with the special attack boost. Ice Shard's going to come out here. And. That should pretty much wrap up this game, right? They have Ninetales in the back end, but again, I still have Terra. I'm saving it for my Rillaboom just in case we need it up against that Ninetales. But with that, we should be fine. We should be fine. Blood Moon Ursaluna. I can't believe I haven't showcased this Pokemon. I feel as a lot of content creators showcase Blood Moon Ursaluna like early on, so I kind of want to wait a little bit, not do the same thing that everybody else is doing, and uh, showcase Ursaluna a little bit later, which is exactly what we're doing. So, Gyarados ends up protecting. We do some big time damage on the Ursaluna with the Ice Shard. Hyper Voice is going to come out here, finish off third Ursaluna. And we're thriving. We're thriving. And I forgot that Ninetales is a Dragon type. I can just Ice Shard and finish it off with Bax Calibur. Beautiful. So, we don't even need Terra. We simply don't even need Terra. It's too easy. But, yo, look how, like, Bax Calibur is an insanely big Pokemon. I think everything looks small with Ursaluna next to it, right? Ursaluna is just massive. It's just absurdly big, but from here, I'm just going to double down into the Gyarados here, and the battle was canceled. Starting off real hot, we are sitting 1-0. We're hopping into our second match, and it is loading up now. But that first match was pretty simple, pretty straightforward. We got Ursaluna out there, made a right call to actually set up the combine. Then we just went after it from there. It was hitting like a truck, and we had truck room set up. It was beautiful. It was perfect. It was perfect. But um, we're going up against a pretty tough team. Ko Komo-O team with Tornadus, Landorus, Fluttermane, Okie Doge, and Ogre Pond. So again, very strong team. They got a lot of meta Pokemon. This one's going to be a little tough for us, but I think setting up a Roar Veil with Ninetales could be really good for us. It definitely could be great for us, because we can set up the Roar Veil, we can really start to get after it. So from there, I'm going to go Cresselia, Ursaluna, and then late game. Do I go in with Urshapu? Or do I go in with a Pokemon more so like Baxcalibur? Or even... 
Rillaboom. I think Rillaboom's gonna work fine. I do like Rillaboom. I like Rillaboom. So we're gonna bring him in here. We got Terrain there. You got Grass Guide. It hits pretty hard. It can do some work on the Flutter Mains onto the, uh, the Lando. I like it all around. I definitely do like it all around, but I feel as I definitely need to set up Aurora Veil just so I can out bulk some of these Pokemon that are hitting hard, like the Fluttermane, like the Konomo, and last but not least, Ogre Pond. Ogre Pond's always a problem. It always will be a problem. It's just a problem. But maybe I should have brought an Earth Food just to deal with that a little bit. I mean, Aqua Jet could have been nice, but I feel as if I can pop Trick Room, if I can do other things, I think we should be fine. Right? If I can pop Trick Room and get off an Aurora Veil, we're going to be chilling. But yeah. They have no, oh, they actually do have a little bit of weather control if, if the Tornadus has, like, Rain Dance or something, but I don't, I, I don't see it happen. I don't see it happen, because I'm going to try to land on Ward Bell turn one here. If they do lead Tornadus, maybe I might just straight up attack and try to get after it. We'll see. We'll see. But I don't want to just start attacking and then not have weather control, so I would love to set up an Ward Bell here. Ward Bell is just so nice. It's really great to have on your team. Now let's see who they end up leading instead of overthinking things. It's going to be Landers and Fluttermane. So yeah, let's set up this reward. Let's get this thing cooking. Let's get cooking. So I'm going to set up Trick Room here. I am also just going to pop in a reward belt at the same time. And do that. I could actually Terrasilize Cress. Should I Terrasilize Cress? Yeah, I'm thinking I should. I'm thinking I should. So a reward belt coming out here could be nice. And do I Terrasilize in the dark? I believe so, right? Actually, that kind of... Mm. You know, we're just going to pop a trick room. I don't really like the dark type, considering they do have fairy. So Rockside's going to fly here. Who's dodging? Nine tails dodging. So I'm guaranteeing getting off a of War Bell here, because I do have Focus Sash anyway. And there's a Shadow Ball, and that's why I was going to Terrasilize, but I could definitely eat up one Shadow Ball, right? I can. Cool. No flinches? That's, cool. that's, what, that's the only thing we got to hope for, is no flinches on the Rockside. Because we get a War Bell here, which is beautiful, and we flinch! That hurts soul. That really does hurt. So from here, I'm going to Blizzard, and I'm just going to Ally Switch. Man, dude, we, <laughs> we flinch, man. We really flinch there? That really hurts. Uh, is there any way around this? I think we just Ally Switch. That's so tough, man, because we would have been sitting in a great position. We would have been sitting in such a good position. The flinching really doing me dirty. Cresselia is able to soak, which is good, and Shadow Ball is going to come in with that. So that actually works out perfectly. So the ally switch actually gives us a little bit of value. We should be able to take out landers here with this blizzard. But yo, dude, if we had trick room pop, that would have been would have been substantial. Our plays would have been beautiful. Would have been so perfect. Would have been so perfect. We had a crit on the flutter man. We do take out the landers this four times a week. But again, if I if I had trick room set up, it would have been game set match. Um, I could go into you. I could go into Robin here as well. Robin could be nice, especially for the fake out. And hmm, do I go into Robum here and fake out, or do I go into Ursaloon and try to get after it? No, I think we go into Robum. I think we go into Robum. Just start attacking. So Ogre Pond comes out here. Always an issue. He's probably gonna spike your shield to be honest. Seeing Robum come out here, right? I would spike your shield. If I was him, I would definitely spike your shield. So from here, I'm thinking I'm just double down and into uh, into the Fluttermane, right? Makes the most sense. Grassy guy come out here, and do I just maybe Howl boost? Because Grassy guy should be able to pick up the KO. You know, we'll Blizzard, we'll Blizzard just in case. And yeah, there's the Spiky Shield. I definitely should have Howl just for the attack boost because I do believe this Grassy guy to actually take out. You right? Yeah, I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew I should have held. I knew I should have held. So Spiky Shield comes out here. Um, make a nice little read on that, but we're still sitting in such a tough position. In such a tough position. But I still have Terror Type, which is gonna be great. Cause I'm thinking of Terrasilize and Rillaboom in the fire. Yeah, especially with Ogie Dogie on the field. Yeah, you, you have Poison moves. You have a Fire move with Ogre Pond. This is definitely Terror Type into maybe U-Turn here. Just so I can get Bake Out back. Yeah, I'm, I'm cool with that. So I'll do that, and on top of that, I guess I'll just go for Blizzards, man. What? I have never had this happen to me before. That is crazy. That was such a good battle. I'm so upset. I'm so upset. I wonder, I, I really wonder 
who would have won that battle? That was going to be actually really close. We still have Blood Moon, Ursula Moon in the back end. But have you guys ever had this happen to you guys before? This is wild. This is wild. I guess that will be your second match. We are 1-0-1 now. Because technically, I guess that game's a tie. I don't know. But let me know in the comment section down below. Have you guys ever had this happen to you guys before? That last match was shaping out to be something good. That was going to be a solid match, and my game just crashed. I have never had that happen to me before, especially because I downloaded the software. I don't have the hard copy, so that's kind of weird. It's definitely kind of weird, but we are 1-0-1. No losses still. One win and one, I guess, no contest, if that's what you guys want to call it. And we're hopping into our third and final with Rabambi. Rabambi is such a cool Pokemon. I really do actually like this Pokemon, especially on the competitive scene. And they also have Torterra. Dope starter. We actually already showcased uh, Torterra. If you guys haven't checked out that video, I'll have to go check it out. And then they got Baxcalibur, Fluttermane, Chiyu, and Rillaboom. So they have no way of weather control. So leading Ninetales might be nice. And I kind of want to do that and set up a war though again. I kind of want to try what we did in the last match. But just not flinch this time. Because Crest flinched and kind of... We had an easy win if it sets up Trick in there. It would have been a perfect win. But we're going to try that same thing. And in the back end, I just think... I just think Rillaboom's great. Actually, Urshfu probably be a bit better here right or should be a bit, bit better or back's caliber i mean back's caliber with the ice moves but i like i like Urshfu. i really like Urshfu, especially with chiyu a nice little aqua jet could definitely get some work done for us so i'm down i'm down to bring Urshfu. we haven't showcased it yet in today's video even though you guys seen it like 6453 times in uh in the past right it was on like all the teams in uh in regulation d it was just insane it was just insane but we'll see who they want to lead here. It's going to be double grass. Double grass actually works out perfectly because I could, I could if I want to, just blizzard. And I kind of want to just blizzard instead of a war veil. But I think they fake me out here, right? I think there's a high chance that they fake me out. And I'm going to try to set up the war veil. Actually, what terror type you got? What's your terror type? Water. Not crazy. So, yeah, I'm just going to go for the War of Alpha Ken, and I'm going to just try to set up the trick. They're going to have to figure out one of my Pokemon, whether it be Ninetales or Cress. So, I feel as either way, we should be able to either get off on a War or a trick. The Torterra ends up using the Terror type. That's actually funny. Torterra, Terror type. And it's going to be fine. And I love how, like, their Terror type is just on top of the tree, which is hilarious. But they end up faking out. The crest, and I get off on a war bell. That's actually works out perfect for me. This works out perfect. This works out perfect because it is. Oh, it's going to shell smash. Now. We don't like that. It is going to get a speed boost, which is good because we do. We're going to be end up popping a trickle, but I don't think you can KO crest, can you? I don't. I don't know. I'm kind of scared though. I'm kind of scared. I mean, we got a war bell. I don't think you KO the crest. And from here, I'm just going to go for the Blizzard. So I'm going to go for the Blizzard, and I'm going to try to pop off the trick. Again, a War Bell is going to help us out. Torterra is boosted. Really, really strong. And it's just going to pop a Terra Blast. The Terra Blast is going to come after Crest. That's totally fine. You would have been better off using a Grass move because they did have Grassy Terrain. We're able to soak really well. So yeah, now Blizzard comes out here, and it's ripping damage. We're not playing around here. We're not playing around. What do you got, a Jack Button? Got a jack button, so see you later. Just waste out that turn. I'm gonna set off this free trick room. Free trick room is here. It's gonna send out the fish. So the fish comes out here. We have Urshfu to deal with that in the back end. But I get off my trick room, which is just beautiful. So I get off the trick room. Um and Torterra is looking rather annoying with all this boost. So from here, I'm just going to Moonblast the Chiyu, try to look to get off as much damage as I can. And on top of that, I'm just going to Psychic down the, uh, the Torterra slot. So I kind of want them to finish off one of my Pokemon. You got a Grassy Glide. Wow. That's actually really cool. I think I'll reach Grassy Glide. But I'm looking to actually just, uh, I want one of my Pokemon to die out here. Will that KO? Yeah, sure. Okay, so Chiyu takes out. The reason I want one of my Pokemon to die out is because I have Trick Room set up for Ursulina. And I should just be able to thrive out here, right? I should be able to get caught. In. So Moonblast comes in here, shipping up some nice damage onto the fish. And I think Ursaluna should pretty much just be able to clean up this match, no problem, right? Hyper Voice should be an easy double kill. Um, we have bulkiness going on here. Yeah, it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. I'm gonna drop a Blizzard just in case uh, Hyper Voice doesn't KO, but everything seems pretty good here. It definitely does. And if Chiyu wants to terrestrialize into Ghost, and I mean he can't anyway. 
But I was gonna say, we can hit it through with Mind's Eye. And actually, ooh, doesn't KO the Chi Yu? A little upset at that. A little upset at that. So we were able to eat up the Grass Guide. That comes out here, and this is just gonna overheat into. Okay, cool, Nine Tails. I have Focus Dash. So, so yeah, everything worked out perfectly anyway. Everything worked out perfectly. So good thing we did set up a War Bell because Grassy Guide on Torterra would have KO'd us. That was some big damage, but the War Bell definitely helping us out. Wizard now flies, bringing this thing down. That's pretty much game. They got one more Pokemon left, and it's gonna be Rillaboom. So Rillaboom can fake me out. Nothing crazy. And actually, if you fake me out, my other Pokemon's just gonna KO. So if you fake out Ursaluna, I'm gonna uh, KO you, KO the Rillaboom with uh, Nine Tails. If you fake out the Nine Tails, I'm just gonna KO you with Ursaluna. Pretty simple, pretty sweet. Ursaluna killing it. Blood Moon Ursaluna killing it in today's video. Really strong Pokemon. Like I said in the beginning of uh, today's video. Well, I forgot they had one more. I thought Robin was the last one. Never mind. Back to Calibre's here. We got a game. We have a game. So I'm going to go for Blizzard. And how many turns left in Trick Room? We have two. And one turn left in Aurora Bill. So I'm just going to go... I'm just going to go Earth Power. Actually, I'll go Hyper Voice. Just in case I get Ice Shard or something like that. Yeah. But like I said in the uh, beginning of the video, Ursula is top tier. It's going to be top tier within the meta. It's just such a strong Pokemon. Good thing they did an Ice Shard there. I'm able to actually chunk up some damage. And I still have Ursaluna. Well, not Ursaluna. Uh, Urshifu to actually finish this one off. Double Bear, actually. Double Bear. Now comes the Loaded Dice. I'm dead to that. But again, we brought the Urshifu. So one close combat. Just going to wrap it up. No problem. It's no problem. It's no problem. This match actually came... <laughs> A bit closer than I thought it would. It definitely did. Definitely did, but we're gonna win it regardless. That's too easy for me. It's too easy for me. They don't have terror type, close combat, she's gonna be able to dump on the scene in one shot. It's light work for Jesus. It is absolute light work. Absolute light work. We just like haven't even been using terrors either. We've just been killing it on the casual ladder recently. But I'm gonna pop the close combat. That should take out Max Caliber, and that's considered a perfect record, right? 201. I'll take it all day. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Three solid matches. One actually glitched out on us, and we go 201. Blood Moon Ursaluna was phenomenal. Just set it up in the trick room with Cresselia, and you really thrive out from there. Other Pokemon that they great on our team was the Alolan Ninetales. And like I said, Alolan Ninetales is going to be solid within the meta. It's got great weather control, great moveset, and paired up with the Focus Ash, you can almost get off a War Bell every single time. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.